regular play. Um, so what do you anticipate seeing out of this team uh, today? I mean, it's been kind of an up and down, up and down week from last week. Um, it, yes, it's a fresh week. Do you, what do you think? You know, this group, I, you know, all year long, they just have amazed me with just the way they bounce back. They don't, they don't let things get to them. So I was, uh, I had, I watched the uh, conference game actually um, via the internet because I was at my boys game on Saturday. But, you know, after losing, you know, as handily as Syracuse to them the second time uh, in the conference there, the girls just bounced back to play Louisville on Saturday like nothing, you know. So I just anticipate this group again to just to bounce back here and play extremely hard tonight. So the Blue Jays did not win the tip. It will be Logan View ball. And Logan View comes in tonight. The Raiders in their royal blue uniform trimmed in that gold as the Ashland Greenwood here in their home uniforms white trimmed in blue. So the first points go to the Raiders. And Jenna Grell with the basketball, top of the key. They're working over to the right to J.C. Fingmeyer. Back to the top, it goes to Grell over to Tonjes. And the Raiders pick up and looks like what we have maybe one three one i think here. no i think it's a two three two three can't really tell but there's yeah, one way at the top uh, by yourself yeah, i don't the... know Tanjas puts up a three-point attempt no good rebound comes down to sleater and i remember that name from volleyball middle hitter i believe she looks a little familiar and the pass goes over to her right to hansen hansen looks to drive jenna Grell almost ties her up sleater top of the key for the raiders Passes over to Christensen. Christensen, right hand dribble. Passes up to Vaca. Sleater then with the basketball. Sleater, left hand dribble. Ooh, give and go off, to, off into the lane to Vaca. Vaca off the glass, makes it 4 nothing. Quickly, the Raiders. Yeah, the old backdoor cut there worked like a charm for the Raiders. And Comstock tries to get it up to head to Tonjes, but it's knocked out of bounds by the Raiders. Still remain Blue Jay basketball. Blue Jays will inbound on the sideline. And, front of the Ashland Greenwood crowd. Pike gets it inbounds, Grill. Fangmeyer with the basketball. Passes off to Tonjes. Tonjes skip pass to Fangmeyer. Fangmeyer, three point attempt and just the backboard. Rebound again comes down to Sleater. Sleater tries to get it up ahead. Into the hound to Stout. And the Raiders will look to reset. Just two minutes have ticked by in this first quarter. Sleater looks to drive. Gets it into the hands of Vaca. Vaca, the shot goes up, no good, but offensive reader, rebound comes down to, to Sleater. And then she puts up a shot and she's fouled. By Comstock, by, thank you. her first foul. So yeah, that's one thing that kind of looking at the stats here that I could read. Thank you, Mark Adele, for doing that for me, but really would have appreciated with it would have been a little bit larger print. I was telling Kendra, I like brought reading glasses going on top of my reading contact. <laughs> but uh, the one the one stat that really stuck out to me was uh, offensive rebound and defensive rebound. There were two girls that really stood out. Had I looked at it at work, I could have blown that up for you. Yeah, I, I could have blown it up myself. <laughs> I was just doing it kind of last minute. I'm going, whoa, this is kind of small. Magnifying glass. We'll put that on our list for Jordan, for Mr. <laughs> Walmick. <laughs> like those ones that the dentist wear that can just wear like goggles. <laughs> That'd be a great look. So okay. Sleater who hits had, one. Who had that last free Sleater. throw? Sleater. Thank Sleater. you. She hits one of her free throws. It makes it 5 nothing Raiders. Five and a half minutes to go. Skip pass from Comstock to Grell. Grell in the paint to Harms, who has checked into the game for the Blue Jays. They and are really Pike collapsing in Grell. on Pike. Grell puts up a three-point attempt, three-point shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Christensen. Christensen dribbles it up for the Raiders. Ah, thank goodness. Yeah, they, they got to they got to watch her. that back back door cut there because they got burned on it last time. And Sleater is going. Oh, oh, oh! oh. <laughs> if she wanted to jump, she could have got a, a a charge on her maybe. Yeah. And Pike with the hug. <laughs> It was the weirdest thing because, like, one arm was stuck and her legs were up in the air and she's being pushed backwards. I didn't see it. I see now that she was had the ball in her hands, but I didn't. I couldn't see around all the players. So, <laughs> Pike's first foul, but she puts Sleater at the line again. Sleater's first free throw is no good, and Emma Keith checks in for the Blue Jays. Second team foul for the Blue Jays. 
Slater's second free throw rolls around the rim and is good. Makes it six nothing. Blue Jays still scoreless after three minutes of play in the first quarter. Kind of reminds me of last Tuesday's game. And Pike skip pass over to Tanjus. Tanjus over to Comstock. Comstock quickly over the corner to Pike. Pike drives the baseline, puts up a shot, rolls around, no good. Rebound comes down into the hands of Christensen. Christensen brings it up the floor. Passes off to Stout. Oh, stolen by Pike. Pike up ahead to Tanjus. Tanjus, Blue Jays with oh, numbers. Oh, no. Ooh, and she throws be it Yeah, but be ready for that. Be ready for that. It wasn't the best pass, but it almost, almost like she was a little bit surprised by that. Yeah, she tries to get it across the lane to Keith, but it just goes out of bounds. And Blue Jays picking up with full court pressure here. Sleater with the basketball. Being guarded by Pike. Sleater crosses the timeline or so. And Pike playing very tough defense on her. And very clean, though. Ooh. She really was... Uh, Stout, oh, wow. really she, right to the basket. She goes off the glass. Makes it 8 nothing. Blue Jays still scoreless. And Hubert is going to take a timeout with just a little over four minutes have gone by. 8 nothing Raiders. Well, part of this is, is they're coming out in a 2-3 zone, and we have not seen zone for a while, have we? I, I got can, I got nothing. I, I, I'm just I'm just saying because you know you've got to you've got to, number one you've got to hit some of your shots from the outside in order for the inside to to uh, build, uh, open up a little bit. But and maybe, I, maybe since you oh, I was just gonna throw it to Elliot and he takes his headphones off. <laughs> Perfect timing. You know so, I would so, assume yeah, that so, that's exactly like, what so, Coach so, Hubert. What, what do you think about that, Elliot? <laughs> oh, speechless are we? <laughs> uh, Coach Hubert is probably adjusting <laughs> to that right now, seeing if we can get something off. You know, we've had a couple shots, but, you know, to your point, Suzanne, we haven't even had, um, you know, great we've had looks one, at the one basket. Three, yeah. And, uh, you know, so hopefully we'll make an adjustment here after that timeout. So FYI, Ella, I uh, threw it to you and you had your headphones to have them on. <laughs> so I'm like, going, okay, guess he's speechless tonight. <laughs> I think some of the te technical stuff worked out. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, thank goodness you're here to do that <laughs> because we all know that if there was something technical to get worked out and they weren't here, it would not be getting worked out. So after the timeout, there is a steal by the Charge. Raiders. Charge, nice and, job. And Pike with a great job of getting back on defense. Well, and that time she, charge. she stayed on her feet and took the charge. And so that was on Christensen? Yes, Christensen. It's only their first personal foul. I don't know, does she pull back or... I, I'm still saying this is a 2-3 zone. So we try, we try to get it into oh, the middle another of the turnover. Just another steal for the Raiders as whatever defense this is, 2-3 zone. I'm, it uh, is a zone, and it's just causing Would you not fits. agree, Elliot? It looks like a 2-3. Yeah, I'm thinking 2-3. Yeah. And just a couple of the uh, people on the outside are moving up. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I thought. I, it definitely wasn't a 1-3-1. It's not a 1-3-1. One, one. Yeah, because no, you I don't have agree. that baseline around no. They just pulled that first girl up pretty high, but we just can't quite figure out how to uh, break it, get around it for sure. Ball knocked out of bounds, but it still remains Raider basketball. Three minutes to go. Raiders up 8 nothing, And there goes that backdoor cut as Hogue was ready oh boy, for it. He was all <laughs> over that one. I was just like watching him and it's like, Okay, girls. I thought maybe he was going to go defend it, did you? <laughs> he, was, he was all these signals. I'm going, I don't know what they mean, but I can hear you yelling back door. And it worked. They got they got that. And I think it distracted the other girl because she was like, <laughs> what, what? And the balls and nobody goes after it. Ah, another turnover for the Blue Jays. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm, good. I'm yeah. trying to keep track of those tonight. Yeah, we don't have Mark Adele I, to I give hope us I those have stats. Enough, I hope I have enough room. <laughs> Just write down oh. that on the paper where the stats are so small. Oh, you got a little turnover column at the bottom there, Suzanne. I had a little time before I came wow. tonight. <laughs> it happens once Your in a while. Your handwriting's so purdy. So purdy, huh? So purdy. It's a so. shame nobody can see it. <laughs> we, could, we could put it up in front of the camera so people <laughs> That's can see it. That's okay. It. So Christensen with the basketball. Left-hand dribble. And oh, they're going to call a reaching Meyer. foul. I thought she might have got a little clean one in there, but... And, you know, former Ashland Blue Jay alumni, I Jake Bobbick, you know, not giving us a break here on the, the referee. No, I'm just kidding. 
So J.C. Fangmeyer with her first foul. And they try to get a lob into number 22, Vaca. They're going to say it was knocked out of bounds by the Blue Jays. Yeah, Two I think, minutes and 20 seconds to go. I think Pike got her hand on it. But you know what? Fronter, and they had one in front and one behind. The ball did get to her. They had her covered. So Isaac. Well, she just goes to the hoop every time she gets the ball, doesn't she? The shot goes up on the outside. Rolls around after the shot from Stockham. Rebound comes down to the Blue Jays. Fangmeyer will bring it up. Two minutes to go. Blue Jays still scoreless in this first quarter. We gotta get something here. Grell, Fangmeyer, top of the key. Back over to Grell to her left. We gotta get this ball inside a little bit to have their defense clap so maybe we could get an outside shot. Grell down in the corner on the baseline to Gertis. Gertis get past to Fangmeyer at the top. And Slater knocks it out of the bounds. We still remain Blue Jay basketball. Well, and View is like, subbing in waves, aren't they? Yeah. To they try and keep their, their girls fresh. So a minute 40 to go. Eight nothing Raiders. Grell, Fangmeyer. Fangmeyer quickly over to Emma Keith. Fangmeyer, top of the key again over to Grell. Grell hits Curtis. And the Blue Jays working it around the perimeter. And skip pass over to Pike. And working Grell, puts up a three point attempt. No good. Rebound comes down. To the Raiders. And pass up ahead. Oh, she's, to oh I thought nice cut off by Fangmeyer. Vaca puts up a shot nice off the glass. Nice cut off. And goes out of bounds. It'll be BJ basketball. And this was Navea Vaca, just a freshman. So one minute to go. Fangmeyer up to Tonjes. Fangmeyer over to Grell. Gertis in the corner, back to Grell. Fangmeyer, top of the key, back to Grell. Fangmeyer around the perimeter, the Blue Jays go. I feel like I say that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find some more chance. I was gonna say, they're just not getting... Gertis, hook oh, shot. nice. <laughs> That's that hook shot I've been waiting for. Woo, Haven't shot. seen that out of her for a while. Gertis, finally, first two points for the Blue Jays in this quarter with 30 seconds to go. Well, they broke up on the lid on that basket. Mm -hmm. Isaac, she gets it to Vaca. Vaca, it's knocked out of bounds by Fangmeyer. 24.3 seconds to go. It'll be Raider basketball underneath their basket. Well, the good news is, I mean, they've been on eight for a while. Yes, Nevea Vaca inbound, the freshman. She goes clear to the top of the key to Stockham, to Stout. Stout, left-hand dribble, passes off to Nevea Vaca. And she gets it over into the corner to Jay. Jay to Vaca. Oh, it's. And they're going to call Gertis for the foul. Gertis' first foul. It's Blue Jays' fourth team foul. And Vaca again to inbound from under the basket. Ten seconds to go. Ooh, that's got to be close to five. And Blue Jays force a turnover. So 8.3 seconds to go. We'll see what the Blue Jays can put together here, see if we can. Uh, another score would be really nice before this quarter yes. ends. Because two points in the first quarter is not what they're used to doing. So Comstock will bring it. Up the court, Comstock, he pass off to Fangmeyer. Fangmeyer just launches one up. Not bad, hits a rim. So at the end of the first quarter, the Blue Jays trail the Raiders with a score of two to eight. Okay, not the start we were <laughs> anticipating. So now that Elliot actually does have his headphones on, <laughs> I'll ask him again, so thoughts up to this point. Logan is doing an extremely good job of forcing us to uh, get it into the paint and then just collapsing down and then uh, forcing it. So then uh, once we get in there, maybe a little panic sets in for the people for girls who get in the paint. And then uh, make a, you know, try and make a pass out to, to, a sh to a shooter who's open, which might get tipped because uh, Logan has been pretty, has been uh, keeping their arms wide, mm -hmm. getting in the, the way of all the passes. 
Then we also just haven't been shooting the three ball very well today. Yeah. I think we're 0 for 4 so yeah. far. Right, which is very untypical for us. Yeah, you're exactly right. We have not been shooting shooting well. The shots that if we have gotten a chance, they're just not falling for us. So hopefully this second quarter that will change. Well, um, well, and two, we've got, you know, Olivia Pike and J.C. Fengmeyer are both uh, out there with 44% uh, three-point shooting, yeah. which is pretty darn high for right. three point, from the three-point line. So um, hopefully some of these start to fall for them. Update from Boys Town is the Blue Jays boys lead 39-17 to 17 at the half. Um, so, again, the update from Boys Town, the Blue Jay boys lead 39-17 to 17 at the half. You did not get that from Tim, did you? Uh, I just took it off of Twitter. Oh, because I told Tim to give me updates and I got nothing, so. So it would be Blue Jays basketball to start the second half. And we did get the ball into Presley Harms, and she was fouled on her shot, so she'll go to line to shoot two. And the foul was on number 22, Sophia Vaca, the junior. It is very quiet in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Different crowd tonight. Harms, free throw is nice. good. I have a feeling free throws could be very key tonight. Boy, we're going to be requiring a lot of stats from you at halftime. Um, you're going to get points and turnovers. <laughs> That's it. And nice our second roll. free throw. Blue Jays now with four. Hey, I don't need stats because... I recruited us a interview. That's right. It, it's going to be phenomenal. <laughs> so <laughs> you're going to want to stay tuned for oh, this one. This, ouch! I hurt. Yeah, that so Tanjas didn't quite get there. Slater brings it up the court all the way. Tanjas tries to get the charge, but instead she gets called for the block and had a pretty hard fall. Yeah, that'll be Blue Jays. I don't think Coach foul. Hubert agreed with that one, though. I just know that everything hurts from hearing that. Oh, and a steal on the inbound play from Pike. Pike gives it up to Tonjes, and Tonjes, oh, they're going to say that she was bumped. By number Christensen. And I think that's Christensen's second foul. It is. It is. So Tonjes inbound to Fengmeyer. We have Fengmeyer, Tonjes, Harms, Pike, and Comstock. Fengmeyer, three-pointers, short. Pike runs it down, though, gets it to Tonjes. Nice job by Pike to getting that out of there. Tan just tries to drive, but it's taken away. Wow, Christensen, she has two fouls, but she is not scared. Oh, she traveled. She traveled big time. And then they're going to say she double dribbled. How about that, though? She, I mean, that she was She was pulling risky. away with him. <laughs> yeah, and she was pulling away from dribbling. She took off when she got the ball. Wow. I thought she traveled before she double dribbled. She could have done a little bit of everything. I was thinking about down here, though. She oh, yeah. got two fouls, and... Then could went have after it aggressively. The, yeah, could, could have risked possibly a reaching foul, but and getting her, th her third one. Yep. So in the corner to Emmett Keith. Keith, wow, gets it inside the lane to Pike, and now that's Christensen's third foul. I, I have a feeling there is no slowing her down. Like no, she's just aggressive. We well, like yeah, they're players. slowing her down right now. Yeah, that's <laughs> the only on the way bench. to do it. I think is to take her yeah. out, which you like those players though too. So Christensen will have to sit down with three fouls. With just a little under seven minutes to go in the second quarter. Keith goes, takes the ball in the lane with the shot. Her shot is blocked, but the Blue Jays get it back. Again, four to eight in the first quarter. Blue Jays trailing by four. Comstock, skip pass over to Pike. Pike looks to drive, kicks it out to Comstock. Comstock down the baseline to Harms. Harms shot, no good. Rebound comes down to Sleater. I thought Pike might have had a lane to keep going on that one. Hanson up ahead, Sleater, then Sleater travels. Well, the Logan mm. View has, the Raiders have decided to catch up with us in turnovers. Yeah, yo, yeah. I think it's the, <laughs> it's the cold air atmosphere. We can't, it, that's what happens when you go from 60 to 20 below. Like, it just does something to you, you know? Well, the body's just like, going, uh, <laughs> no, no, thank you. Let's go back to yesterday. And Comstock looks to drive, kicks it out to Harms on the baseline. Nice ball movement there. Then Keith drives. Keith in the lane. No good. Rebound comes down. To We're just not getting any to roll, are we? No. So bringing up the basketball is Stockamp. And she passes it off to Hanson. Hanson. The Stout. Stout. Stockamp. 
Vaca. And Sleater. Sleater tries to drive to the bucket. Picked up by Harms. Stockamp looks to drive the bucket. She puts up a layup in the lane. No good. Rebound comes down to... It's on the ground. And Pike. Pike. Pike got it. Gets it to Fangmeyer. Fangmeyer looks to run. Up ahead to Keith. Keith in the lane. Kicks it out to Pike. Pike, three-point attempt. And got good. it. Good. There we go. <laughs> we get to seven. And as you had said earlier, Suzanne, they They've have been, been on eight for a oh, long time. Oh, so you time. said seven, so I gave her seven. That was a seven-point <laughs> shot oh, there. Oh, wow. That, that is a great <laughs> shot. Sleater with a three-point <laughs> attempt. No good. I was trying to multitask because Tim <laughs> finally texted me. And it's kind of like the Globetrotters. <laughs> I just heard what you seven. Oh, seven now. And Keith with a nice pass as she finds Pike underneath the basket. And then Pike is fouled. And so Vader is also catching up with us in fouls. Both teams have five team fouls. So Coach Aaron Johnson takes a timeout. Blue Jays just trailing by one, seven to eight, with four minutes and 46 seconds to go. And the in boys, this first half. The boys are now up, or maybe this is the score you gave 39 17 at half. Uh, something like that. I don't know. It was something like that. Whatever it said on Twitter. I think Tim's wrong, but. No, I don't know. <laughs> we just know it's halftime. No, that's exactly what I said. Yeah. Oh, okay, I couldn't remember if it was if still halftime half. and we were still leading. It was still halftime and we were still leading. So yeah, <laughs> hasn't changed anything. <laughs> yeah. Unless yeah. they do a pop a shot or pop the shot, and then we get points for that. If you know they add to them, I don't know. But so Blue Jays finally getting off of that. Two and that four, and you know, as Suzanne, you had said, they had, um, they have, know, the been, on have been on eight for a long time, very long time. This whole quarter, for sure, and, and then, then probably I bet you half, half of the, first. the first one. Yeah, that's probably why she decided that she had to have a timeout because yeah, they have definitely. I mean, they were just going to town, and we obviously adjusted our defense because they got several layups. Yeah, and it was a good thing we adjusted our defense, or I think. Coach would have been out there on the floor <laughs> <laughs> with them. <laughs> so after the timeout is Fangmeyer, Blue Jay basketball under their basket. Fangmeyer tries to inbound, but knocked out of bounds by the Raiders. So back to the Blue Jays. Tanja's three-point attempt. Oh, gosh, I thought that was good, but short. But Presley Harms comes down with the basketball. And they're going to call a jump ball. Now it will be Raider basketball. So Gerd is checking in. And Grell checking in. So full court pressure from the Blue Jays. And they get it into Vaca. Vaca. They're pretty quick, aren't they? Yes. Vaca, this one is just oh, a nice. fresh one. Oh, shoot. Oh, she <laughs> had not, her feet had not landed yet. As we had, a, we had it stolen away by Grell, but then she got it to Pike. So. We got it over our back, so we got another turnover. In order to keep the turnovers <laughs> even. And oh, nice try by Tonjes. All of a sudden, the uh, Blue Jays have, come, have just cranked up the uh, defense a little bit. And it's obviously creating some turnovers. So they get an inbound to Stout. Stout gets it over to Vaca. A double dribble. And Vaca double dribbles. Holy bajolies. <laughs> it's, yeah. Oh, kind of has a feeling of like a holiday tournament. <laughs> yeah, like they've been uh, off. Yeah. Or do the kids think that because the weather was like 60 yesterday that it was a day off? Maybe so. I've got, I think they were thinking of a spring. And we get in the lane to, from the elbow. Pike puts up a shot. No good. Rebound comes down to Nevaeh Vodka. Oh, and wow. That was a sweet pick by Paige. Nice double team and nice and job by Paige. Wow, to the coast, coast to coast. Off she the was glass. just kind of standing there waiting for her to dribble <laughs> by, and then just reached in and swooped it out of her hands. It was pretty slick. It was great defense by her and Tonjes, and great drive to the hoop. So then it finally puts the Blue Jays in the lead by one, nine to eight, with three and a half minutes to go until the half. Stout, top of the key for the Raiders. And skip pass, clear over the corner to Stockham. Stockham puts up a shot, hits the side of the rim. Rebound comes down to Gertis. Gertis will get it to Grell. Blue Jays looking to run. 
Up ahead, they find Pike. Pike looks to drive the baseline. She gets a nice oh, steal nice. from oh. Tonjes. Tonjes is then blocked, blocked from behind. behind. And they're going to say jump ball. And it should be Blue Jay basketball this time as Gertis was so aggressive on the jump ball that she came out of her shoe. Oh, are they gonna, what are they going to call? Oh, they called Gertis for a foul. They, they did? took that back. Yep. Not a jump ball. They called Gertis oh. for a foul. Interesting. That's number two on her. Mm, yep. So Blue Jays again will pick up in this full court pressure. And Sleet, Sleater to inbound. Whoa! Oh boy, oh boy. Should have been another turnover, but they get to vodka. Oh nice pass. Oh nice block by Grell. Nice block, yes, by Grell out nice of bounds. Because that was going to be an easy layup for yeah, her. Correct, yes. Denied her that chalice. <laughs> And she's a DS, so she doesn't ever get a chance to really do that for volleyball, you know. So stolen away by the Blue Jays. Here comes Comstock. Good choice of pulling the it back. Just watch out. Yeah, she would have got hammered from behind, I think. And Keith kicks it back out to Comstock. Comstock goes to drive the lane. And one. Chance for an end one. Comstock, Comstock is coming alive today. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I was just going to say that. Oh my! Oh, it's too long. It's been too much. <laughs> it's been too long. <laughs> too much. So Comstock left-hand layup off the glass and oh. fouled. Goes to the line to complete the three-point play, and she does it. Could have had that one in stereo. <laughs> Here's the Blue Jays now the four-point lead. Just under three minutes to go to half. Twelve to eight. Next time you say that, you go a little high and I'll go a little okay. low. Okay. <laughs> Nice defense by Grell there, all the way down. She tries it, but no. The and another turnover by. Yep, stolen away by Tan. Just Tan just gets it up ahead to Grell. So the Blue Jays look to set up their offense to come. Stop. Tan just quickly over to Grell around the perimeter. They go and Keith at the elbow. Tan just looks to drive, tries to get it into Harms, but it comes right back to Tan just. She puts a shot up in the lane, and then she is fouled. Oh, no, I'll let you throw it. It's going to hit off that gray thing. Oh. No. You had the spin. It I did. went over. I just had a shot into okay, the trash 22. can. And that's Fans, number two so you know. on Vodka. And Tanja hits her first free throw. Gives the Blue Jays 13. Raiders still at eight. First points of the game. <laughs> We've only had four girls score. Five. Five. And time to second free throw in, in and, and out. out as the rebound then comes down to Sofia Baca. Whoa! I thought nice that was cut be off a by Paige. <laughs> nice cut off. As Baca tries to get it into Sleater, but too much on that. Stolen away by Harms. And here comes Comstock. Two minutes to go. Blue Jays leading 13 to 8 in the first half. Grell back to Comstock. Back to Grell. Baseline to Harms. Harm skip past the Comstock. Quick ball movement. And over to Tan just now. Comstock quickly over to Grell. Skip past the Tan just. Tan just looks to drive, kicks it back out to Comstock. Skip back over to Tan just. Tan just puts up a three point attempt. No good. Oh. And Pike, nice job. Oh, shoot. I was going to say Pike tipped it out, so they had to go after it. So it's knocked out of bounds by the Blue Jays. So and the Raiders, Raiders are still session. scoreless since the first quarter. <laughs> yeah, they have not scored the second quarter at all and well into the first quarter they, when they had their eight. We don't know how long it's been. Well, that was almost a palm. So they get it across the timeline to Hanson. It's a little over a minute to go in the second quarter. Stock amp top of the key is doubt. They get it in to Vaca. Vaca looks to drive. Puts up a shot, rebound comes down to Sleater. Sleater will take dribble back out, puts up a three-pointer in the corner, no good. Rebound comes down to Stout. Stout puts up a shot, no good. Then Hanson puts up a shot, no good. And finally tore down by Harms, wow. And Keith. Too many second, third chances. And Comstock and Hubert says, back up, let's just take one shot here. One shot before half. Again, Blue Jays leading by five. 38 seconds to go. 
Harms with the basketball. Oh no, oh, and shoot. we turn it over. Nope, they're gonna say. Nope. It was over and nope. back. Yep. It was not Hubert tipped. thought maybe it was tipped, but it wasn't. So um, turnover for the Blue Jays. So it'll be Raider basketball on the sideline. 33.2 seconds. They get it inbounds to Stockham. She brings it up the court here. Sleater. Sleater passes off to Stout. Stout, Stockham. Hansen. And there's about 10 seconds. Stout with it in the corner. Let's get past the stock amp. Drive is Hansen. Hansen kicks it out to Stout. Baseline shot, no good. Goes off the side. Pike puts up a half court shot. Oh, and off the glass. So at the half, the Blue Jays go into the locker room with a five point lead over the Raiders, 13 to eight. And we will get as much of our halftime stats as we possibly can from Suzanne Sapp as Mark Adele is uh, <laughs> in Omaha at Boys Town tonight. So not a whole lot. Like we said earlier, I mean, the I key would like percentages to see. <laughs> yeah, you're dreaming, girl. You're dreaming. Um, the Blue Jays, you know, came out first quarter only only with two. Let's give um, Elliot's oh. two. Can we use your headset from Mr. Flynn? And then Tanja's. Um, had one point the first half. Comstock came out pretty on fire for a little bit while and had a flurry of five points there, which were key. Uh, Pie got her only three point of the first half. Harms hit two free throws. And rounding it out, Gertis had, a, had two. And for the Logan View, I mean, second quarter scoreless. Yeah. And I wrote down in my little notes here, it seemed like after one of the timeouts, Jeez. they just cranked the defense up. And that was the key there. So for halftime, we are being joined by assistant um, principal and ath new athletic director, Matt Flynn. Right. And so and welcome Thank to, you. to being willing to come up here and talk to us. Um, I guess one of the reasons why I wanted to talk to you was, as you know, as everybody knows out there, we, you know, we're putting in two new buildings in probably, what, 2023. Yep. We'll be moving our middle schoolers over to the new building. Yeah, yeah. And with that move, you're going with them? I'm going with them, heading over to the new middle school, and I'm very excited about uh, all the opportunities and possibilities for our new middle school, yeah. And so how will that change your job as it is now? Because right now you're assistant principal, athletic director, so... Yeah, so go ahead. So heading heading over to the middle school, I'm going to be in charge of and be the principal of the new middle school. And whoa, hello, dance team. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and and I just have the opportunity to get to work with kids in the middle school environment every single day, and uh, in both instructionally and uh, and just building a continuing to build upon the culture that we have already. <laughs> This is what we put up with, Matt. <laughs> yeah. Holy moly. It's hard for me to hear myself think, but they do look good. By the way, I was a uh, dance coach this weekend, if you if you oh, didn't see. Did you I all did, see that? I did see that, uh, actually, you know, on so, Twitter. So. so second in hip-hop. Second in hip-hop. So. But what a nice job. Well, <laughs> I, I give you it, zero credit. Oh, and I will take zero credit. Uh, <laughs> but what a fun group of girls to be with. So. Yeah. So when you move over to the new school, will you maintain your athletic director position? So what we're going to do is the new, um, we actually have a new athletic director, and I'm going to maintain some of the activities portions of that, and especially as we look at having the new uh, Performing Arts Center. Uh, that's going to kind of fall under my umbrella, and I anticipate that being used all of the time. Uh, and it's going to take a lot of work and expertise to really make that function as a community space and as a school space. Uh, so that will be one of my primary roles, will be to, to work in that arena and as as we have a performing arts center so now then will the new athletic director take over all athletics because i know we've talked last week we <laughs> right, there we go Abrupt wow it. yeah talked last week with dave nigren about um possibly switching to a new conference and how strong and now, the new conference was in the middle school level so will it just be you'll still just be in charge of activities and then the new athletic director would be athletics or will you split nope. the middle school from no doubt part, a, a big part of it this is part of my learning experience 
experience too is it's dotting I's and crossing T's when it comes to the athletic director side and, side and just making sure we have table help, officials, yeah. making sure that the concession stand is open, all the, the little details. So uh, Dustin, I think, is going to take care of most of that, uh, but I'm certainly going to be play a big role in attending, supervising, and working with middle school athletics. Um, he's still going to make sure the schedules are ready. And, um, you know, this week I'm working on uh, – sending out all the contracts for next year's basketball season and actually have all right, the officials. Right, because he, he obviously is not here yet working. Right, right. And I didn't realize that, you know, that that's something that has to be done now. It's not like a choice. <laughs> you don't wait till <laughs> August to secure all these officials. Yeah. So, right, yeah. You know, so so last, uh, the last couple of weeks I've been working on securing officials and sending contracts for next year. And, yeah, uh, it's, and it's either that or you'll be out there in stripes. And, and nobody <laughs> wants to see that either, um, especially at basketball. Maybe maybe a wrestling meet would be okay, but uh, not, not so much basketball. Well, so. I think that, you know, the positive thing coming in is, you know, obviously Mr. Detterding will be coming into a new school, but, you know, he's got some of that background, uh, you know, coming in. So he'll be bringing that, you know, that portion of as you'll be able to help transition him. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. then you'll be able to then get into your building when that that completion is done. Um, and, you know, you've got the middle school background. You know, the one thing is you don't have the middle school like English teacher that you that trained you. <laughs> You right. Know, this Ms. is really hard Mrs. for me to Kuchera, say professional. Mrs. Kuchera is not here. Oh, wait. No, you were talking about you. I'm like, no. I can't sit here professionally and buy you this whole time and listen. Like, I just, I can't do it. Like, you know, I, I, I thought you I, did I a do. pretty good job as long as you went. <laughs> well, as long as I just didn't talk, I could just, that's it. But I'm like, if I don't talk, I'll be fine. I, I do, I do want to say, I mean, all the way back to 2002 when I started and, and just, Oh, self-growth and, and looking at that. So and, wait, and the, was this the first time you started the or the first second time? time? The okay. first time, the first time. Uh, and and, uh, and and just just knowing myself and the growth that I've had, but also the growth in our middle school and and just the, the growth of the culture in the middle school has been absolutely phenomenal. And one of the things I'm really excited about is to build on that. So yeah. when we talk about building opportunities for our middle school kids and really having an identity as a middle school staff and a middle school student body, Mr. Jacobson has done phenomenal work and laid the groundwork for us, but we just have an opportunity to kind of slingshot with things like middle school teaming, with things like having the spaces that, you know, our voters supported in the bond issue for collaboration in the new middle school. Uh, the, the, just thinking about the space in the media center in the new, in the new building. Holy smokes, just ways to collaborate yeah. with kids, be creative, critical thinkers, and like take take what we're already doing, all the great things, and just kick it up to the next level. And that is, I mean, literally, I get goosebumps just like sitting here thinking about that opportunity. Well, that's kind of be kind of be good for the middle schoolers because it kind of is going to give them their own identity, where they're not in the same building, intimidation by the big old high schoolers, and you know, where the little guys on a totem pole. You know, they've right. got their own. You've got their own space now for the first time yep. ever. Yes. Well, and you can do some of those things. You know, I know back when I was here, we did. You know, a lot of things in the gym where we did, you know, middle school activities and things. And, and you'll have that environment and that space to do that where you could do it here. But you're always having to kind of move around with the high school and things like that where now you're going to have right. this, the space and the capacity and the facility to do some of those things. And um, talk to us a little bit about, like, staffing and maybe how that's going to work. And uh, <laughs> is that still kind of in the in the works as far as, like, Maybe even like the, I guess, oh my gosh, I'm talking so college, like elective staff. I don't even know what we call it in K-12 anymore. Right, I'm not sure. right. You, well, you know, part of it, Kendra, is that we, we, we have to share, right? And that's going to be, that's going to be an ongoing thing for, for many years, yeah. right? We're not, we're not going to be able to have necessarily our own art teacher or our own uh, CTE teachers or whatever. However, you know, our, our, our elective teachers are used to, you know, already used to having a diverse set of kiddos from 6 through 12. Yeah. Um, and, and, but but um, also, on the other hand, our Board of Education has been completely supportive of continuing to grow the middle school staff. And, and, and I, think, I think that's huge because we are so close. We are on the cusp of having the actual core teaming ready. Yeah. Um, you know, we're, we're about one, probably one full-time teacher away from being able to say we can create teams for sixth seventh and eighth grade wow, that's and, and, awesome. and 
you know, and the thing, you know, the thing that uh, Mrs. Fangmeyer and I are working on right now that is a big push uh, for us is uh, just intervention and middle school yeah. intervention okay. and, and really working with kids that, um, that that could just use an extra some extra support and extra extra help. And, uh, and Mrs. Smith and Mrs. Laughlin do a great job. And that's just going to become bigger and bigger. Right. And, and But with teaming and the opportunity for our teachers to sit down and visit about those interventions on a regular basis and how we can best help kids is only going to continue to propel us in the way that we're going we're gonna to serve students best. And, and that's one of the things that, um, that uh, I, I've always been really happy about is that we, we do great things uh, in our district, and including, including uh, growing our staff in, in the right way. Yeah. Okay, real quick. This was your first year ever being an athletic director. What's been the hardest thing for you on the athletic director yeah, side? Uh, no doubt, and, and this isn't uh, this isn't isn't it's more personal than tied to work, but it's obviously um, just being away from the family. Um, it's it's a lot, you know. Yeah, and, it is. And so so that that is probably the the, the most challenging thing. Um, the other thing is. You don't know what you don't know. And Mr. Weiss was here for 23 years and did things like riding a bike. Um, and I really had no idea, you know. And mm -hmm. so I get into this and it's like, holy cow. Holy moly. <laughs> There's uh, a lot to he, it. There is, there is all sorts of things that, that you know, that just it's tough to see behind the scenes. Yeah. And, and uh, I, I'm very thankful and grateful for this year because knowing what it takes also helps me probably be a better teammate in the years to come. Well, I have to say, though, I think you've done a very good job. Well, you've done a very good job at it, so we, well, we, we appreciate it. Don't forget that if you ever need anybody to come back and help with projects in English, I've got a couple of them that, you know, I can always help with. That's like, right. That's right. Know, we can yeah. do some get guest speaker. Ha Hawaiian days <laughs> yep. and Pumpkin some pumpkinology. Yeah. Pumpkinology. <laughs> What's in the bag project? What's in the bag project? Oh, that's one of yeah, my favorites. No. Oh, Mrs. Yeah, Fingmeyer will be that, happy that we talked about that one. I do so. want to give a shout out. I think you probably had a daughter, a couple of daughters, maybe one sitting over we had the third grade basketball team here watching yeah, so, um, yeah, earlier, is that correct? So all the third grade uh, girls basketball teams from JJYB came okay. tonight and uh, and supported the girls and uh, some of them have gone home but uh, just an opportunity to watch the big kids play and they get excited every time they get an opportunity to come watch these girls play uh, just good role models so yeah and we and we thank those that are coaching those uh, those those teams too because it it has a big impact you know uh, on their future and just watching too so we uh, we appreciate that so um, but Mr. Flynn, congratulations on your your new role and also the what the job that you've done here and um, you've done an amazing things at Ashland Greenwood and we're very lucky to have you here um, in the staff and everything else. So that was very hard for me to say. I'm just, I'm just <laughs> you know that. I know it. I know. And, and I, know. I and I will say dittos to that. Well, well, so. well thank you guys and Suzanne and and all the board members. Happy board board week oh, thank and thank you, you guys thank for you. all of your work because we couldn't do it without you either. So. Anyway, well, have a great rest All of the right, night. Thank you. Thanks, Woo. Matt. <laughs> See, it wasn't so hard. <laughs> oh. So, again, that was Mr. Matt Flynn, currently the assistant um, principal. principal and act activities director in the middle school, high school, but then we'll be rolling over into the new <laughs> middle school <laughs> <laughs> principal uh, as soon as that building opens and starting that role kind of next year, even when the building is not quite done, he'll start transitioning. So, um, but anyway, I mean, that was, that was kind of the goal mm -hmm. of when we hired our new Correct. athletic director was yep. to get him in, kind of get things kind of rolling so that when that building is ready to flip there, we're ready to go. Yep. So it's 13, eight to start the third quarter and a minute and a half is ticked by. When that first foul was on uh, Stock camp. Now I was going to see. Ooh. Right, let's see if I've got. And any after issues. three, the Blue Jays, the Blue Jay boys lead 64 to 29 uh, up at Boys Town. So the Blue Jay boys lead 64 29 after three quarters up at, at Boys Town. So piked inbound on the sideline for the Blue Jays. Gets it over to Fangmeyer. Again, the Blue Jays started the same way they oh, did wow. the game as they had Fangmeyer, Tonjes, Comstock, Pike, and Harms. And I take that back. I guess Harms started, I think, in place of Grell, because I had that wrong anyway. And so there will be a foul. I believe it's on Comstock. Tries 
to go to the bucket, so she'll go to shoot two, and you are correct. Comstock's second foul. And Sleater's free throw is good. That is Finally first gets the Raiders points off the eight. first quarter. <laughs> Yeah, when I said it a while back that, boy, boy it's been a long time since they've uh, scored, I never dreamt it would be yeah. the third quarter. <laughs> I'm sure that's what they are thinking, too. Yeah, Sleater's second free throw is good. Makes, makes it 13-9. And Comstock will bring the basketball up for the Blue Jays. Gets it over to Grell. Grell back to Comstock. Comstock to Grell again. <clears throat> into the lane to harm and she kicks it out to Tondras. Tondras drives baseline, tries to get it into lane to Pike, but it's knocked out of bounds by the Raiders. So Comstock will inbound underneath the Blue Jay basket. Comstock. Ooh. Yeah, almost it's stolen away, but then it goes Another back turnover. off the hands of Pike. How many, how many turnovers did we have in the first half? First half we had seven and they had 10. Oh, wow. And really? so far we've had two this half and they've had one. And it's stolen nice away by Comstock. Job. And she gets it back to Pike. Pike off the glass. No Boy, good. She's Rebound. Been, she's been a little bit cold tonight, hasn't oh, she? Oh, shoot. Yeah, so now Blue Jays foul off of the rebound by Sleater. And I think, I think that's on Pike, right? Yes. Yep, Pike second. So Blue Jays will pick him up in full court pressure again. Sleater to inbound. Sleater gets it to Vaca. Vaca quickly to Christensen. They got numbers. Stout up ahead. Stout off the glass. No good. Nice Rebound grab by Harms. Harms. Harms really reached out and pulled that one in nicely. So Pike will bring it up for the Blue Jays. Tanjas kicks it to Grell. Comstock, top of the key. Look to reset. Still coming out in the zone. No. Oh, wow, boy, she telescoped to that one yeah. all the way. Tried to get into harm with the elbow, but it's stolen away. Third turnover for the Blue Jays. Three minutes have gone by. It's 13-10. Blue Jays leading by three. Third turnover this half, by the way. And Christensen gets it to Sleater. Blue Jays in their man-to-man -man defense. And they're going to call a moving screen. On 33, did I hear? 52, Stout, I believe. Yeah, oh, just Stout, 52. her second foul. So four and a half minutes to go, 13-10. Not much of an offensive game today, but maybe it's a no. defensive battle, right? <laughs> I would have to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> and timeout. Maybe uh, Coach Hubert said, okay, enough. I know I was going to talk a little bit half about, about what you guys felt was the flip the switch that flipped in this game what what would you attribute it if you picked one thing <laughs> <laughs> Kendra's used to these questions <laughs> I don't think there's one uh, just one straight thing I think it was a um, what it got the Jays' offense going was definitely uh, their pressure their full court pressure and now that since they've laxed that off uh, it's really allowed a They've uh, not been getting in transition as much and letting uh, uh, Logan View uh, sit back into their uh, uh, into their zone, which they've been pretty good at all game. Um, I think the cold air. I, the cold air. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it's our defense because it seemed like one of the timeouts we came out on fire on defensively, brought that press, disrupted them, gave us the opportunities, like Elliot said, to get the ball down the court a little bit quicker and not allow them to get their zone set up. And we have taken some good shots. They're just not Not falling. dropping tonight, and no. So boy, and they, I tell you what, they before, are waiting so. for these passes. And we have, we've had a lot of turnovers and we've had a lot of just telegraphing passes and so just boy, a and combination of a lot of and things. And that's the one that going. Pike always puts in. Yeah. So rebound comes down to the Raiders and Stockham looks to run and she gets it to Christensen. Christensen will reset for the Raiders. Oh, just when I think I have them all memorized, they throw some more people Double at me. Double dribble. So a turnover for the Raiders. Yeah, they've put a few couple different ones in. I feel like a broken record. Turnover. 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 Skip past Tanjas. 
Tries to get into Gertis. Oh, another foul, 22. And they're going to say Sophia Vaca. And that's her third. So Comstock will inbound. And she gets it to Keith. Keith puts up a shot. Oh, Gertis was on the back side, though. And it goes right into the hands of Gertis on the block shape, a shot from Vaca. So Gertis will go to the line to shoot two. Hopefully get us off of 13 here. Yeah, we're doing what they did. First or the second quarter. Ooh. Yes. Oh, nice. 14. <laughs> we Let's were go. 13 for a long time, too. <laughs> So Curtis' second free throw attempt is good. 15, there we go, 15 10. Nice stroke on that free throw. Slater, full court pressure again from the Blue Jays. Christensen gets it to stock him. Stock and almost stolen away. She picks up her dribble. And Johnson's gonna take a timeout because she saw the trouble then from that Blue Jay pressure. So three minutes and 28 seconds to go. Blue Jays with the lead, 15 to 10 in this third quarter. I'm looking, I'm looking. <laughs> the Jays are back in action. I was, I got uh, Thursday night at Lincoln Lutheran. Yes, Lincoln Lutheran. And then Friday they, night. And home then Friday DC night, West. yes, the foam, foam, home at DC West. That game time will be approximately 6 o'clock. And then it will be followed up by the boys playing DC West around 7.30. And then the reserves play on Saturday at 9 o'clock. Stop yawning. No yawning mm. allowed. I just know Reagan has a lot of basketball games this week. <laughs> Kendra oh will my. be in the gym a lot. Yeah. Luckily, a lot. they actually canceled last night, so she would have had last night, tonight, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday morning. Wow. I'm like, wow. Oh, gosh. Collision. Oh, Olivia, Olivia. Oh, she stepped. So they're gonna I thought Olivia should have just held her, her, her ground and, and flopped. So they're going to say the Blue Jays forced a turnover from Christensen. They said that she stepped out of bounds. So Blue Jays regain possession here. Emma Keith, top of the key, Comstock. Back to Keith, perimeter moving it around. They get it inside the lane to Pike. Pike oh, looks nice. to drive. Oh, oh right idea. Gertis yeah. goes open, but. That would have been a heck of a pass to do, put the spin on that thing to get <laughs> that around to her because <laughs> it would have, because she had to go probably, <laughs> probably more than 180 degrees around her. Todd just, oh, wow. it was right on. Three point attempt, just short, but man, it was on. So three minutes we to go. We have only had one three-point shot made in this entire game. Uh, and who made that? <laughs> it was um, Pike. Pike? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's uncharacteristic of this team, for sure. Well, especially Pike is coming. Oh, she traveled. Oh. But Pike was coming in at 44% um, shooting from the three, so. Oh, these turnovers. Yeah. It's very disruptive Ooh. to get a flow in the game <laughs> yeah, when, <laughs> when you're and another turnover. Oh, another wowza. Turnover. Okay. I can keep up with the score, but I can't keep up with the turnovers. Well, you don't have this. Yeah, there's right now that's all you have to keep track of is turnovers. <laughs> all right. Come on, girls. Sleater, full court pressure from the Blue Jays. Sleater gets it back. She'll bring it up the court for the Raiders. Two and a half minutes to go. Blue Jays still in the lead by five, 15 to 10. Christensen. You realize there's only been four, three, four free throws made in this quarter. And that's all Two on shot. each team. I mean, yeah, nobody's that's... made a good field goal. Wow, now this is the day. This is one of those days that would be like the percentages for Mark of shots and all that stuff, but that would be like. Oh, Mark would have had a heyday tonight. Oh, he would have had a heyday. <laughs> oh, my, the percentages would have been Yeah, like, I, I would like ooh. to, I can almost anticipate what he would say. <laughs> <laughs> there might have been a Yogi Berra comment <laughs> in the, somewhere in here. I don't know what Yogi Berra would have said, but something. Every time he says that, I'm thinking of like the bear, like the cartoon, like <laughs> Yogi Berra. And Christensen drives to the bucket, and she's fouled on the way, but she, they're going to call it on the floor, I believe. And the foul was on Emma Keith, her first. So the Raiders to inbound underneath their basket. Christensen with it. 
Christensen stolen away by Pike. Oh, no. yeah. And 20. foul from Slater. Nice job by Olivia Pike in anticipating that one. So Sleater's second foul. Tonjes checks back in. So the Blue Jays have Feinmeyer, Emma Keats, Tonjes, Pike, and Harms. Now, do they consider that foul a turnover? Mm, I don't know. I'd say no. I would think I wouldn't, wouldn't think so either. But it did cause the ball I'd to be, be turned really over. I'd be really mad the person who passed that to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> if you could I only would assign tell her it to people, people. like, what did you? You just sound like things for? that I do in volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> what was I supposed to do with that? <laughs> Pike in the lane. I thought she dribbled. Nice. There I we go. She, I thought she there we go, too. Pike. Didn't she dribble twice? I thought so, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, whatever, whatever works. <laughs> At this point, we'll take whatever. 17-10. First field goal of the second half, by the way. Ooh, she traveled. And a travel. Oh, oh. <laughs> Coach Aaron, Aaron Johnson from the Raiders hanging in there very well, I would say, for not having really they had – Eight I, I, really, the first I really would love to interview Coach oh, Hubert man. after this one. <laughs> I mean, but think of the Raiders. They had eight points the first quarter. They've had two points in this quarter, and that's it. And then a heck of a lot of turnovers. Yeah, a lot. They're sitting mm. at 15. And she's got a really calm, composure demeanor. It's Pike. Now, yep, that'll be Pike's third foul, I believe. Yes. So 17, 10, 51, 57.1 seconds to go in the third quarter. Again, Blue Jays picking up in this full court pressure. Which has worked very well for them. Yes. It's really obvious, shut down their offense. I can, I can honestly say that. And Slater. Oh, she almost. And it works. Blue Jays. Oh, hold it up. It hold it up. Again. Keith with the basketball. Boy, they come way out on them on defense. That's why it confuses us on this 2-3 zone. You see now their back dot, dot, bottom girl is dropping way up. It looks like the Blue Jays are going to maybe try for one shot. Oh, I see what that they girl is doing. Time, but she's getting tired. That's what I would say she's doing. Well, she oh, was, she was, she was, back and then she she was anticipating up. them passing yeah. it back over to Keith, yeah. and she was taking off at a dead run to try and, and <laughs> steal it. So 15 seconds, Grell, top of the key, yeah, back to Tonjes. Oh, oh, reach in, that no, was a reach okay. in, we that was a total reach in. No more one, no more last. <laughs> we can't hold for a shot no more. That's three on Gerdes. It's not working in our favor tonight. And also <laughs> she doesn't get the turnover then. Oh, oh, oh almost thrown away by Tonjes, six seconds. Slow getting there. Stout. She passes over Stockham. Stockham puts up a shot. Short. So at the end of the quarter, the Blue Jays still in the lead. 17 to 10 Scoring over the Raiders. Four. And the Raiders scored two. Two free throws. Two free throws. And that was Sleeters, right? Uh, yes. She is leading the Raiders with six points. So. <laughs> So, what do we got, kids? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, I want to say, have you been out to see the new elementary school? Oh, my gosh. We drove by there the other, oh, Saturday morning. We were going to Wahoo for a reserve game, and we don't go out north very much. And so I had the, my two little boys with me. I'm like, you guys, look at that. And we were we were in shock. Like, we had no idea well, about how much Well, but look at the weather. Together. But look at the weather they've had. Yeah. I was actually talking to uh, Superintendent Leibel this afternoon. And he said that they've got it almost, I think maybe, I thought he said like 70 to 80% enclosed. Yeah. And he said now they're concerned that they're going to get held up because they can't get door jams. Oh my they're going to get to a point, they're going to yeah. get to a point where they're going to be able to start drywalling. Yeah. And you can only go so far and then you have to stop, stop. because no door jams. Yeah. So they're going oh to finally gosh. hit that brick, <laughs> no, yeah. no ten, pun intended, <laughs> no, yeah. brick wall where <laughs> we can't get door but jams no and it's going to, yeah. Yeah. Oh, bad. But, but, they are, great. but they actually are a little bit ahead of schedule, but then that will probably throw them back behind again. But it's, it's so cool because it, it looks so it looks good. big, it does. doesn't it? It looks awesome. So if it you does. haven't had a chance, drive north of town there to check out the new pre-K to two building um, going up. It's a pretty am, exciting time. I am so excited to see the inside of that. It is going to be so cool. Yep. So it'll be Blue Jay basketball to start the fourth quarter. 
Um, final score from Boys Town is the Jays win 78-41 um, at the boys game there. So 17-10 we have here to start the fourth quarter. Uh, Elliot, what do you think it's going to take to uh, maintain this lead? <laughs> okay, let's forget that question. I think I don't know that we need that part of it, but <laughs> how about maybe just for us to score like we normally score? What are your thoughts? <laughs> Definitely going to have to be bringing back the full court pressure just to get uh, looking you out of their uh, rhythm with their defense. Yeah, I think because uh, their defense right now is just killing us inside. Yeah. You know, and the good the good thing is the girls continue to shoot. Things are just not falling. You know, people, you know, like Danielle Tonjes has taken great shots tonight. They're just not falling. Even things that Olivia Pike normally makes are just not falling. But you know what? We're still ahead by seven. So, you know what? Some nights things just don't go your way, but we're still in the lead. They're still playing hard. So, in the paint goes Vodka. Oh, oh, no. She would have just gonna... left her hands up straight. She would have got away with it. And Vaca will go to the line to shoot two after the foul by Harms. And that is her first. I was, oh, just say, her I was first. a little surprised. I oh. thought, ooh, I must have that wrong. I thought she had more than that, too. So Sophia Vaca makes the front end of her free throw, makes, gives the Raiders 11. And both, team, both foul, teams with 16 fouls. Vaca's second free throw is no good. Rebound brought down by Pike. So Comstock brings it up the floor for the Blue Jays. Ooh, just about traveled. Grell over to Comstock. Comstock back to Grell, top of the key. I'm going to comment to Tim. And one and one. We have a one and one. Pike going to the line. And the foul was on Stockton. I didn't even see that. I guess I was, I looked down Stuck for a moment. Yes. Uh, hey, we'll take it. Olivia Pikes, good free throw shooter. Put her at the line to shoot one-on-one, -on -one. we'll take it. And I think I do recall you saying, free throws might be important here. Oh, I jinxed her. Darn it. The rebound comes down into the hands of Isaac. Christensen brings it up the floor for the Raiders. Passes off to Stout. Stout quickly after. Ooh, this is a new one. Mundlin. And another turnover. Oh, nice job, Connor. My son, my New York son decides to call me now. What time <laughs> Should I take it? the phone what, call anyway? <laughs> what time is it now for Connor? It's 9.34. Connor, you should be going to bed. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I feel like it's 9.34 here, but it's not. Okay, Blue Jays, as Elliot said, picking up in that full court pressure, which has caused, oh no, is there, where am I going? Jeez, I'm losing it. Not full court pressure. The ball was underneath <laughs> the Raider basket. Looks like full court pressure, but it's on the end of the court, so really I, not. <laughs> I asked him if he wanted to be put on the broadcast. And he said no. I had, hasn't responded back. We, Emerson with FaceTime. <laughs> so. <laughs> She's in bed by now. Who who fouled on that so last one? So that was one? Jenna Grill. Her first foul puts Christensen at the line for the one-on-one. -on -one. She misses the front end. 17-11 with six minutes to go in the game. Blue Jays still on top. Christensen, second free throw, good. Makes it 17-12. Comstock will bring it up for the Blue Jays. Gets it up ahead to Grell. Comstock back to Grell. Gets it into Gertis. Gertis get pass over the quarter to Fangmeyer. See, I love this quick passing, especially when they're running a zone, because you're going to get an open shot eventually. Eventually, you're right. Exactly. You got you to keep it Just moving, keep though. Going. Keep it keep moving. Going. Like JC, right Except there on the baseline, wide open, JC. get it over to her. Oh, nice reach in there. And reach in by Nevea Vaca. I've got so. that as her first. Yeah, that is. I'm, I doubt myself that it, but can that be right? So Coach uh, Aaron Johnson will take a timeout. Connor must be still thinking about whether or not he wants to go on. <laughs> oh, no, I sent that to Tim Washburn. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. So 17-12, Blue Jays leading by five. 
Oh, I don't even remember what's left. Oh, I guess I can look at I like this part. So what's left? That's the time oh, clock. I thought, yeah, but I used to think it was still on here, too. That I used to be able to check here, and we'd still have it, but I guess not. You guys are, like, too, you guys are too advanced now. Too quick. Too quick. We'll see what Connor says this time. This is going to kind of <laughs> so tempt him. So I go, what are you talking about? <laughs> so, again, the next time the Blue Jays are in action is the, the Lady Jays take on the Lincoln Lutheran Warriors at in Lincoln on Thursday night with the JV starting Which is at going to be a tough one. And that will be a tough one. And the varsity right after that. And then they will be home again with a rematch against the D.C. West Falcons on Friday. That would be a great night for everybody to come out because that's going to be another great ma matchup for good, the Blue Jays. It should be Jays. a pretty good boys game, too. Let's hope that the uh, temperature gets turned back on in here by next Friday. Sergurtis up to the line, yeah, right, okay, ready to shoot uh, one and one. Just put it on there, it's fine. Gertis free throw, no in good. In and out. Rebound comes down to, I love my program, up ahead to Stout. Stout passes back out to Christensen. Mm. Conjus reached around from behind. So, man, this is something we don't want to do is continue to put each other at the line. No. This fourth quarter might be forever. <laughs> Connor said, huh, all good. <laughs> Not in the mood to go do a little <laughs> high school girls basketball broadcasting no, tonight. No, he doesn't want to do that? No. I, I don't get it. I don't have my thing. Who's 12? Uh, right here. Thank you. Oh, Hanson. So Hanson's free throw is no good. Oh, okay. Thank you. Kind of turnover. Raiders. Inside it goes to Hanson. Hanson with a shot in the paint. Makes it 14-17. The Raider crowd coming alive a little bit. Five minutes to go. Blue Jays in the lead by three. Tonjes and the Raider defense picking up the Blue Jays pretty high. Christensen knocks it out of the hands of Tonjes. There will be Blue Jay basketball on the sideline. Grell checking in. Got it. The end. I got that, but I don't read what it's at. That, uh huh? That's who that is. Oh. Got it. What do you want? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good thing you don't see behind the scenes here. Pike into Comstock. Comstock kicks it back out to Tonjes. Pike. Jenna Grell, top of the key. Over to Comstock. Four and a half minutes to go. Blue Jays with the lead by three. Comstock. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Pike in the lane. Nothing there. Kicks it out to Gertis. Comstock then. Over to Tom just in the corner. And the Raider fans cheering on their defense as they've held the Blue Jays to nothing here. Four minutes to go, 17-14. Coach Hubert wants to talk things over. So just one second under four minutes. Blue Jays again leading 17-14 in this fourth quarter of play. Before we go any further, Kendra and I would be totally, completely and totally lost tonight if it weren't for our crew that we have here. I mean, it's so nice to be able to say, we got people. <laughs> we got people. It used to be you and we I, and then it, was, then it was like, <laughs> yeah, we might be on, we might not be on. But now that we've got people, and so a big, huge, huge shout out to Isaac Love, who has been doing our camera work tonight, and of course, Elliot Gossin, who has joined us before and um, is always willing to, um, number one, put up with us <laughs> and then put his two cents worth in, which is always very insightful. So, But we really, really greatly appreciate both of you guys. 
Elliot, do you ever get a say in which crew you get to work with or want to work with? Let's let's be honest here. I just pull up a uh, right after school, ask Woman if I'm needed, and he tells me if I am or not, and I come uh, whenever I am. And he says to you, Kendra and Suzanne need you. <laughs> so you would might want to start asking and verifying, like, okay, if I, I'm needed, okay, which game is that no, for? Is that am for I needed Tim is, and or is, Suzanne and Kendra? He just says you're needed, and he goes, oh, it must be the girls' game tonight. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you're needed. Oh, check, girls' game. Got it. <laughs> So truly, we, we, we cool. really, really, really appreciate your help. Yes, we do. So Tan just looks to drive the lane, and she's tripped up, and they're going to call her for travel. That's a bit frustrating. I think she could have been fouled there, but oh, well, she was kind of tripped. I thought. Yeah, I think so too. I, uh, unbiased opinion, by the way, but yes, but we, but our unbiased opinions count. Just saying, no. <laughs> Well, we so. have not scored this fourth quarter, I hate to say. Oh, yikes. Comstock. <laughs> she took yeah, a hard. Yeah, Coach, Coach Hubert is, is not happy about that one. He's, po he's pointing back here where it happened. Well, she just got mowed over. Yeah, she did. And totally she mowed over. To, she went to actually set a pick and just got And that foul was on Grell, which is her seventh one. Seventh one. Second <laughs> one. <laughs> We yeah. just can't continue this, this uh, putting it's, everybody at the line thing either. That's is that, not helping. What's, what's, is that 20? So this is Christensen at the Christensen, line. Christensen, okay. And she makes the front First. end of the one-on-one. -on -one. Second one is no good. Rebound comes down to draw. Makes it 15-17 with three and a half minutes to go. Gets it to Comstock. Comstock crosses the timeline. Gets it over to Pike. Pike. Top of the key to grow. Blue Jays look to reset here. They are bringing their defense <laughs> yes. out, and they're bringing it out pretty hot. And they they're going to stay at the a little line. bit too hot from Stockham. And so now Paige That's will go to the line. Holy bajolies. <laughs> it is like defense, defense, foul. Go to the line. Defense, defense, foul. Go to the line. Defense, de oh, my. Comstock hits the front end of the free throws. Good person to have at the free throw line as she is a. Uh oh, <laughs> you haven't asked me all night. I've got it here. Comstock is a 63% free throw shooter. <laughs> and she hits both of her free throws, makes it 19 15. Shockingly, it did not take me too long to no, grab it. it. That was pretty good with all those papers you got uh, well, over and, there. And bless his heart, but Mark Adele, that his lines never lined up, so I had to do a little marker so I could quickly get it for you because I knew you would do this to me. Because, <laughs> I mean, look at this. How, how am I supposed to follow that line <laughs> down? <laughs> with, I'm not going to complain. He's got the stats. With your perfect fingernails yes. that you got there. Yes. So jump ball, but it'll be Raider basketball. Just under three minutes to go, 19-15. Blue Jays in the lead. They get it in to Baca. Oh. Baca then kicks it back out to Sleet that Sleater. Looks good. She yeah. picks up the, wow. That looks Sleater, good. Big, big shot. Whew. That was a tongue twister there. 17-19. Comstock crosses the timeline for the Blue Jays. Gets it across over to Fengmeyer. Fengmeyer to Grell. Yikes, Grell double team just about. Oh, come on, you got numbers, you got numbers. Oh, Whew, that was close. Head numbers. Elliot, I was nervous. I thought <laughs> we, oh, no, did she hit that out of her hands? Okay. Yes, it, she did, she did. Wow, and like Suzanne said, the Raiders are bringing their defense, let me tell you. They are bringing the heat. That so is number four. On Christensen? Yep. Yes. So 17-19, Fangmeyer goes to the line to shoot. Now, too, we're in the double bonus. And Fangmeyer is going to the line as a 50%. She hasn't been to the line very much this year. No, well, she missed the first eight weeks of basketball. That's so true. Really let her oh, so true. Fourth, fourth game, I think, this year, maybe. Yeah, and not a hit in, and not her and not fourth a full game either. And second free throw is good. You got it. Makes it twenty to seventeen. Blue Jays in the lead. Each Let's one of those free throws is going to be so key. And they get it to Christensen. Christensen crosses the timeline. Two minutes to go. Blue Jays in the lead by three. Twenty to seventeen. 
And Sleater, ooh, stock him. That was, that was. Oh, oh banks it in. She banks a three. <laughs> what was that, stock Ties camp? it up, 20 to 20, folks. We got the game. And they're going to call a foul. Stock camp. And that's going to put Grell to the line to shoot two. And the that's fans four beside fouls us say on you got to let camp. him play a little bit. As they did not like that foul. Yep. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> For sure. So Grell shooting two. And free throw is too hard. Again, after that three point shot from Stockamp ties it up. Only 20 the third, to 20. only the second three pointer all night. Oh my. Grell's second free throw. Just under two minutes to go in the game. We got a battle. There you uh, go. That Grell one looks really nice all the way from the Makes a nice hands. adjustment. For Grell, makes it 21 20. They get it in the lane. Get the rebound to Hanson. Hanson gets her own rebound. No good. Puts up another shot. No good. And the rebound comes down to Sophia Vaca. And she puts up a shot, and then she's fouled in the lane. So she's been fouled by Gertis, and that's her fourth foul. And Vaca's first free throw is short. Hits the front of the rim. A lot of free throws this quarter. <laughs> yes, <laughs> More yes. free throws than anything else. Yes, yes, there is. <laughs> Vaca's missed her second free throw. Oh, rebound. Yeah. Nice hustle. And, and she is out. Fifth yeah, foul. she is out now. And she's, a, she's an aggressive little player. Yes, aggressive. Ball handler, defensive threat. So that would kind of hurt the Raiders. Now the Raiders have played a lot of girls tonight from their bench They've also. They've been just kind of reloading all yep. night. So very similar to the Blue Jays, but Gertis will go to line down to shoot two. A minute and 37 seconds ago, Blue Jays in the lead, 21 to 20. Oh my gosh, it's so quiet. Well, she's 66% tonight. Ooh, and she nice got one. it. Big one. Nice job. Now she's... Three of four. Makes it 75%. These numbers I can work with. Can you get beyond this and I'm done? That's it. 22 20. Blue Jays in the lead. And rolls around no good. Sleater brings down the rebound. Minute and a half. Blue Jays again in the lead by two. Oh, wow. That was gutsy. And Sleater tries to get it. Up and over in the lane to Vaca. For what it's worth, the turnovers have turned have uh, slowed down quite a bit. Maybe it's because we put everybody at the line. I mean, we've. So either I don't know who the, it looks like. Coach we've Aaron shot. Johnson takes a timeout. We've shot between the two teams 19 free throws. I this not quarter. <laughs> this quarter. No, oh, yeah. we could have shot more had. We'd not miss run into one on one on both sides. This is the most interesting game We've I've ever seen done. in a long time. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like the turnovers, the you know, of this kind of reminds the me free throws. Back in thing. the day when I I was on our, this is gonna really age me. Our very first girls basketball team in Sutton. And these are the kind of scores we had. <laughs> we we still hold the defensive average for the year record because we didn't score a lot of <laughs> points back then. <laughs> it's just it's just interesting. And like I said, we've put up some great shots. Like some very good shots. They're just not falling tonight. I was trying tonight. to look and see and when they, if I could find it in these gazillion papers. Oh, and here then we to go. have to for both teams yeah, to be see, in like, the bonus I was just so wondering early. if when they played Redmond Central was it a low scoring game, but it was 49-41. So I'm like looking at the the numbers. Well, yeah, it's just it's just a different. It is a different. Well, we're game averaging time. 40 points a game, so yeah, we are like us, 20 yeah. points yeah. under average. So like you said, this it's is just it's it is just an uncharacteristic I game for both teams. And like you said, for to shoot this many free throws in the fourth quarter, we're going to say it's, like it's got to be the of. cold weather. It's got to be. And maybe a Tuesday game. We don't tend to play a lot of Tuesday games. I don't know. I'm just I'm it's, going no, with it. That's got to be better than Monday. I'm just going with it. 20. So, again, another foul by Stockham. She's going to end up fouling out here quickly. 20 is not. It's Schluter. 
Oh, it was 20. I go, okay, I thought it was. No, it's 20. Is, yeah, I thought it was Takam. So a good person to have at the line is Comstock. Yep. Yes. Got it. She's, she's shot right now five free throws, and she's hit four of them. So 23-20. Blue Jays in the lead with a minute and 11 seconds to go in the game, Blue Jays. <laughs> Second free throw is good, 24-20. <laughs> and Vodka goes the length of the court. Oh, just stolen away. Nope, right back into the hands of Sleater. A minute to go, 24-20. Stock him. Oh, and she carries it. They say nope. And they get it to Sleater. Don't foul, Blue Jays. No reason to foul. Do not stop the clock and put him at the line. Oh, she tripped and over on her feet. Oh, oh we get back to, to steal him. it. But it goes out of bounds. We, uh, Blue Jays, like I said, we don't need to stop the clock, and we do not need to put them at the line to shoot free throws. Like, it's play tough defense. Okay, all three coaches are yelling. <laughs> I hope they're yelling the same thing. Oh, nice try by Paige Comstock. Still knocked it out of bounds by the Blue Jays. I wish you could see them because they were all in one row. <laughs> one was kneeling down on the other side, and they were just all yelling at... Something. Something. <laughs> We're not sure what, but. Uh, Nevea. But they Baca. were all very involved. Yes. <laughs> oh, she Stockham. walked. She, she walked. She puts walked. up a shot. It's short. They're going to say she... that it was not touched by the Blue Jays. No, I agree. They were, so they're going to say. I thought just, she walked before she shot yeah, it I anyway. Too. So 43.7 seconds, 24-20. Harms gets it to Pike. Pike over to Comstock. That's a good Comstock person to foul. The timeline. And they're trying to go after her. And they're going to say Sleater with the foul. And they're so happy with that. Not not that Sleater fouled. We're happy that Sleater fouled Comstock, Comstock is what I meant That's to say. That's why I was hoping that they would get it into <laughs> her hands because right now she's been, she's our top scorer in the fourth quarter. So Comstock's nice. good. Nice to roll. Makes it 25-20 with 35.4 seconds to go. Blue Jays in the lead. Well, Comstock took it to heart when I said these free throws are going to be important because she did. that is her eighth free throw she's made in this game. And when you look at the score, mm. that's pretty big. Yep, 26-20. And here comes Vaca. Vaca tries to get to Sleater. 26 seconds. Sater, oh, wasting a lot of time. She doesn't know what to do with it. She tries to dribble through traffic, oh, and she, she dribbles off her foot, foot and dribbles it out of bounds. So 20.5 seconds. Blue Jays will take over after the turnover, 26 to 20. And again, full court pressure from the Raiders. Blue Jays up by six. They inbound to Keith. Keith gets it back to Comstock. Clear it out. Clear it out. Let her have it. Let her have it. Grill. And whoa, mm. almost overthrows comps or harms. No, that's what you need to do. We had Pike was wide open over the basket. I heard the crowd go, oh. No, because we don't, don't need do to that. score. We <laughs> just need to run the clock out. Yep, run the clock and there out. They go. And that's what the Blue Jays do. So smart play on Pike's part. So the Blue Jays win tonight over the Raiders with a score of 26 to 20. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, change. Change. Ooh, that's wow. different. That's it. different. Yikes. I never get change from my kids. So, um, all right. Things that we could uh, show well, growth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ooh. How about things that we've seen? We Things that we've <laughs> seen us do better but didn't tonight. <laughs> like Shooting. score? <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah. I, I mean, I think that kind of goes with the obvious. I think just... You know, I think for us, I think room for improvement is just scoring in general. I think well, it's just something we just didn't do well, but it just, I don't know, it just wasn't our night. We well, had some good shots, but just didn't end. In their defense, as ugly as it was, should I try and get one of the coaches to come up here and talk? Okay. They probably they have to go into the locker room yet. Anyway, um, as ugly as it was, they found a way to win. Yep. Exactly. The bottom line is, is getting that W. You, you, you went to the other side. You have to do one and you have to do the other. You have to do things for growth. And then what we did, you switched. Well, them. I said it was scoring. And then I, then did. I flipped it. <laughs> and then I flipped it right away. Okay, so I'm done. So you're done, Elliot. Things that you liked? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to need a little more time to think on that one. Oh, 
I got the thing to do better is that, at least for the Blue Jays, is not telegraphing your passes. That's what yeah. allowed uh, Logan View to really uh, jump into those passing lanes. As you saw, a couple of their uh, uh, girls coming down from the bottom of their zone, just looking up at it. One of, our, uh, one of our girls at the top, seeing where they're going to pass it and flying up and getting an easy steal. And you're able to uh, uh, come up, maybe uh, just stay looking forward at, towards the basket and throw it out of the corner of your eye, or even just pump fake and yeah. then uh, throw a back cut. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you are right. You know, but I think the one thing that we would probably all agree on that we have said all year with this group is that I'm so impressed with is clearly – the girls could have been extremely frustrated and, and, and coaching staff and, and probably are because this is out of character for the way that they normally play, but they don't give up. Like they could have easily shut down um, in the first quarter when we had two points. Uh, the second, you know, that we go in at halftime then with 13. They, you know, the third quarter we score four. Uh, but then we jump back out, I think, in the fourth quarter. It scored, and scored nine. nine you but know. all nine of our points in the fourth quarter free were free throws. throws. But Every we're huge, one. and you said that from they the were. very beginning. They were. I said in the very beginning, I think free throws point. are going to be a key. Yeah. And actually, Paige Comstock, shout out to her because, you know, she had two field goals to start it off, off with and then hit only missed one of her free throws so she ended up high point wow, today with 11. 11 points and all free throw all but all but four, four points were free yeah. throws yeah so it's huge it is huge you know and olivia pike olivia pike was the one i felt like tonight was really off a little yeah. bit and, and i know just and i know a lot of that was there was a lot of in your face yeah. pressure and it, but you know what i'm sorry you have those nights yeah you do I it's will never like forget one time we were down in, in Plasma and Brett was started shooting and it's just like, just keep shooting, dude. It, it'll come. Yeah. 17 missed shots later, it never <laughs> came. <laughs> it never came. So you're like, going, okay, so maybe we need to stop. <laughs> maybe but pass and so, rebound and play but, defense, Brett. But the, po <laughs> what the point of that was, that so you have those mm -hmm. nights. You know, there are those nights where no matter what you throw up, it's just not going to drop. Yeah, and I think that you said the Olivia Pike and, and even any of them that things weren't falling, they always find a way to do something. And like you talked well, about with Brett, they find a way. Olivia rebounds. She plays defense. She brings the ball up. They put, same with Danielle Tonjes and Emma Keith and Presley. I mean, everybody just finds another way to make it happen um, if it's, you know, things aren't going right. And it was just a different game for both teams tonight. You know, clearly most of them, both teams yeah. average offensively 40 points a game. And so I think both teams were kind of like, Ooh, this wow, is a weird wow. one. This is like, what we, you we say, need nine, over 19 free throws in one quarter? Yeah. Like, that's just unheard of. Yeah, because like, like I said, we didn't have a single field goal, and they, well, they rallied at the end, and hey, they had two twos and a three yeah. like in the third quarter. So, but you know what? This is a different type of game, so. But but, but I, I do like the fact that we found a way to win. Yep, we that's exactly We found right. our way to win, and I think a part of it was, you know, to get them out of their game, because they sort of came out like gangbusters, and I think it was our defense is what, to, what uh, really took them out. Yep. So just a reminder, the Blue Jays will be in action again on Thursday night um, at Lincoln Lutheran and then back here at home against the D.C. West Falcons on Friday night. So be sure to stay tuned for those and how those will be brought to you. Check Twitter. Um, obviously, we'll be on Strive on Friday. Thursday, um, right, Lincoln Lutheran has something. I don't know. Check Twitter and we'll let you know on that. Yeah. So it will probably be just Lincoln Lutheran. I think so, yeah. I, I'm not sure what they have, but we'll figure it out. Okay. So, but Once again, the Blue Jays take down. Oh, I, once again, I do want to thank our, <laughs> our, our, our crew here, uh, Isaac Love and um, Elliot Gossin, for, for being willing to come and spend the evening with us and helping us out here. Oh, because you guys are so lucky. When, yeah. <laughs> with a short straw, I guess it was. <laughs> it wasn't even going and ask. It's like, yeah, you guys, you're it. But we, we really, really greatly appreciate you guys because we would be totally lost. Once again, the Blue Jays take down Logan View Raiders 26 to 20. Um, I'm Suzanne Sapp for Alec Gossin and Kendra Craven. Have a great rest of your night, and we will catch you later this week. <laughs>